have a prepaid call. You will not be charged for this call. This call is from a federal prison. Hi, babe. I miss you. What are you doing? Uh, time. Time? You making jokes at the time <laughs> yeah, like this? Yeah, what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> is sentenced to eight years. He already did 15 months before he came out on bail. And then going in, he's already been in there now for 10 months. So if nothing else happened, he has to do another three years. I'm hoping he'll be home in less than two years. How you doing in there, baby? I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Just, uh, you know, just doing what I got to do. I know. And the crazy thing is, I've never felt closer to you than I feel now that we're so far apart. Yeah, it's weird. It just feels like how it was when we first met. Like, I get excited when you call, and then when I go to see you, I'm putting on my fancy outfits. <laughs> I mean, I love you. I, I love you more. I mean, are you program. thinking about me? Uh, of course. Why would you act something stupid like that? How often are you thinking about me? Every day. Yeah, especially at nighttime, you know? Oh, especially at nighttime? Yeah. What are you especially doing while you're thinking about me at night? <laughs> uh, I rather not say. <laughs> People don't always and won't always understand the connection me and Mendici have. I fell in love with who he was. I fell in love with the way he loved his son. I fell in love with the way he treated me. I fell in love with everything that connected him and I. The best and the, the greatest thing about our relationship is that we get each other. And he's been that missing link that I just needed to help me to see the other side to life. It's not something that I can even put together in words how I feel about Mendici. There's so many different lessons I've learned from him because of the things he's dealt with, because of the way he was raised and the things he's had to fight for, versus me where a lot of things were handed to me. He never had that. And a lot of his motivation was I can't leave my son the way my father left me, so let me completely change my life. The kids miss him so much at home. Mendici was all things dad. He took the kids to school in the morning, he picked the kids up from school, and kind of shifted his work schedule so that when they were sleeping, he would go do his thing. Let me do the career mom thing. So now, it all falls on me. It's a struggle, it's a constant struggle to balance it all. How's the kids? What's up with the kids? Everything's good. So I gave Amir his new spelling word you gave me to give him. And enormous is oh, a okay. very big word for him to memorize, Mendici. Forget spell enormous to say it. He's like, in enormous? He's like, Mom, it sounds like a <laughs> it sounds like an elephant. I'm like, okay. He's hilarious. Hey, listen, practice make perfect. So just just keep practicing with him. Um, Skylar, right. you know, she whenever she goes past your picture, she always says, Dada, Dada. It's like she doesn't even uh, realize you're not there. She, listen, that last visit when she ran to you, I was looking at her like, oh, he's your best friend, not me. She do that. That's my baby. I yeah. Love her. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's never easy when you have to explain to your child that mommy or daddy did something wrong. My children are very young right now, so Amir just kind of thinks dad is at work. But there will come a time when I'll have to explain to him, and in that lesson I'll also teach him there are consequences. And because daddy did something wrong, and this was the consequence. And that's a conversation that we'll have when my son is ready to have it. You left me in these streets, figuratively, and literally these reality streets. Oh man, 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 man. I'm sorry. I'm not there to defend you. But you know what? More even to defending me, I feel like I gotta constantly defend you and defend us. Like I'm not gonna have nobody painting my man to be some crazy. I went through a very dark place when all of this stuff came to light because I felt like, oh my gosh, this brand that I've took so long to build, how is the world going to receive me now? I'm gonna look like a hypocrite. This is a very old case that they were investigating, and that's what I always say to people, you're gonna to have to deal with your past, no matter what. And what I can say about him is, he has definitely made that transition from being this person to that person. He's become so much better over the years, he's always, transitioning and transforming and moving and growing so they can look at my life and know, no, Yandy's not perfect and know her love is not perfect, but we are constantly trying to be better than we were yesterday. And that's all that I can do. 
I mean, I love you. I, I love you more. I, I love what we have. I love our children. I'm in love with you. I think about you all day, every day. I can't wait to grow old and experience and have fun and, and, and just enjoy life. Do you need me to tell you these things? Thank you. I appreciate I'm that. I'm sorry. This is an experience. This was rough for both of us, but, you know, I think it definitely made us stronger. We made it through this. We can make it through anything. I just, I believe we both deserve to have the happily ever after, after this, because, you know, it, it can't, it can't get no worse than this right here, but, um, no. but I see us making it through, and, um, that's the, that's the goal, that's the main focus, is making it through. Absolutely. It may sound weird, it may sound crazy. But I pray for God to show us our commitment to each other through a situation. Because he never ever felt like if times got rough, I would stick around. So this is kind of a, I told you I was going to hold you down. I'm thinking long term, not short term. When I decided that I was going to be with this man for the rest of my life, this is a very short period in our lives. There's so much love and hope in what the future has for me. That just keeps me going. I have faith that we're gonna overcome this and be stronger than we were when he went in. I love you, Mendici.